Hey everyone, Nick Shaheen here, looking at uh, updating pot stocks, scan up the stocks. Uh, this is the helicopter view of them. Here I'm looking at MJ in general, uh, C, uh, Canopy, ACB, uh, Kronos, which is having a really good day. Actually, they're all having a good day. Not sure what about. I'll leave the fundamentals up to you. Um, and as far as what to do it all depends on the chart so i can just tell just by looking at this what i can chase what i can't uh chronos i'll have to look at a different time frame uh, but here it's clear that um, acb if i'm not long it's sitting at the mouth of another leg higher to 2.7 um, so how gutsy are am i to chase it uh, this is a prior fail so um, yesterday it failed right here but they look they look like they're taking it out right now um, so these are prior fails are places where you're going to find resistance but if taken out they become a launching pad and as far as expecting an upside i wouldn't be surprised to see it take out 2.7 provided they break through this and they hold it so the idea is to break up fall back on it and then rally up higher uh, so we'll see 2.64 was a fail two days ago uh, yesterday was a little lower today they're going above yesterday's fail and uh, hopefully take out that one for th those who are long it um, so this was a good base and it confirmed a base here so if they fade back I could reload lower so if I missed it here I want to reload lower that's that's fine this is a 10 minute candle by the way um, all right so canopy is not as clearly bullish here they're trying to do the same thing as this one uh, this is 30 minutes so before I switch out of 30 minute candles I want to see that 2168 massive fail so if I'm long, I would definitely get out there or lock in some profits for sure because it looks like a pretty definitive place to say, nope, uh, this was the CEO headline, I believe. So uh, this is a 10-minute candle just like this one. So you can see relativity. They exceeded yesterday's fail just like this one, ACB, and they still haven't exceeded the day before that. So play it by ear. Depends on your portfolio and how you how fast you can trade. Uh, MJ, that's the, the ETF, fail, 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 and they're at the failure. So I would not chase it until they go above it. So if I'm not long it, I would I would have to be man enough to say I missed it. Same with um, APHA. They just broke out. So now if they use, I'm going to go to 10 minutes. Did I? Yes, I did. So they broke out. This is the same candles as these two here, so for relativity. They broke out above yesterday's high and the day before and the day before. So this is a new high for the last three or four days, which is a good news. So if you consider that this was a descending channel, now they're above it. So the idea is if I missed it, I could wait for a pullback to the top of the channel, and then they're going to use it as support to go higher, or just say, okay, I missed it, I'll catch it next time. All depends on personal speed. Um, Hexo too tight to see I'm gonna zoom in to five minutes maybe you can get some information so on the five minutes is still struggling below yesterday's high so as far as the whole shebang they're all moving up so big this one is underperforming so is it late or is it just underperforming and I should stay away from it same comment here uh, this one is up 1.5 percent but uh, let me zoom in to compare it fairness uh, I'll go to 10 minute candle um, descending trend is still mired I can see from this trend right here on a 10 minute candle uh, so that's one day one day one day one day just to give you a, an idea it's back up to prior failure points I know it's for, hard for you to see but these are prior uh, failure points right here and right here and a ledge so they're back at a ledge which usually is um, resistance so I would want to see more upside before I start chasing if I'm long already that doesn't mean I bail I just manage my profits the way I usually do uh, GWPH has already had good momentum so nothing new here except the fact that it's going into prior resistance uh, so I would be a little careful with my profits here onus is on the bulls to say you know what when we fell here the other day that was a fluke know what I mean so I know they have good upside it's up here right now you can't see it. it's off the screen sorry about that if I move this it's gonna go whack on me so uh, let's see if I can drill down a little bit better than this uh, how about this look right there so this is the, these are the same stocks 
closer look at them the top ones are the same so this is the acb that looked most promising i find it i personally cannot chase an up five percent stock on a day especially without much anything a lot new so you know what i mean so it all depends on the personal preference so one last way i can slice and dice these guys is if i go to i'm going to go to 120 here uh this is mj i'm going to go one by one so i would put a catalyst here above 17.5 so nothing new i've just said that over in the other one this is starting to look like a cup and handle so i would put a an alert here i'm just showing you how to do i'm going to do one and i'm going to do the other ones so this way i don't have to watch it if it goes above it i would chase it for about this much okay so that's one of them uh, CGC that's canopy is next canopy is already broken out I have drawn this before and this was the upside potential of it so it's on track if I wanted to add it's that orange line right here because then it becomes some sort of a cup and handle inverse head and shoulders Ooh, actually a really nice inverse head and shoulders with this much upside potential so this can definitely come so if I'm long this guy I would stay long this guy I would probably add above 28 I mean 21 whatever that number is 2170 something so that's um mj acb i'm not going to say that it's hard for me to say it so we'll go with the ticker same i would chase it above here i'll put an alert i guess i'm going to do more than one i would chase it for a trade but these are each one of these is a level as a pivot level so each one is an exit point you can see i pointed out in my prior video that this was a squeeze to a neckline now they're going to have to negotiate the neckline once they break out of it they have potential to hear another neckline blah 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 uh, tillery apparently today was getting some love so i would chase it above there if i'm not long it i missed it for this little leg of it now onus is on the bulls to uh, get out from there we'll look at cron look at that we said that it was tight from prior videos on two different levels and now we're at the upper end of things so there's a gap up here maybe they're going for the gap so if i'm long i'll probably chase it to 7.6 and then i'll decide if i want out this is a giant ledge so if i'm long i can ride my profits probably too long to start chasing it now maybe above this line 7.4 was a major fail the upper end of that candle so is it going to be a problem i'm not sure you know what's important here this candle right there it has I'm gonna draw a box around it don't ask me why but it sticks out I'm gonna do that we'll see how that plays out in future videos okay so the, these are I think I'm gonna stop right here otherwise the video will be too long oh come on okay one more <laughs> add alert the, this looks like an inverse head and shoulders in the making it's the spirit of one loosely interpreted one what does that mean it's headed into a lot of resistance but if they take out the resistance then they can go to 5.8 or higher uh, a lot of resistance of 5.68 um, so arguably it's already in an inverse head and shoulders it depends where you draw the neckline so if i'm long this guy i'd stay long it i probably nibble long if I if I see a little more upside, especially above this one, kind of a confirmation. Depends if you trade a level or a trend. Some people like to trade the trend line. I prefer levels. So since there is a failure right here, major failure after a tremendous rally, I'll wait to see what happens up there. All right, next signing out.